Hey guys, today we're playing The Binding of Isaac. This will be my second challenge run, and it is called Bullet Hell. And something weird just happened. I don't really know what's going on. It might be glitching out, but anyways, for items I have number one, and max rate of fire. And also, um, mom's heels, and mom's lipstick. This is getting kind of weird even for me. So I may have to pause and and check on the cheat engine settings, but for now I guess I'm okay. Like this is kind of weird. I'm getting this randomizer and zero, and I don't know if I mentioned, but I have my reflection, which is why my shots are coming back. I'm also really fast, which I did not um, set up. I think everything's going a bit faster, but who knows, maybe that'll make it a little more interesting. So Monstro is not too much of an issue. And we're just gonna keep shooting. And screen's basically covered with my shots, which is kind of neat. Again, I saw Northern Lion do this challenge, which is what inspired me, if you're wondering. And yeah, so we're kind of moving more quickly than I thought I would, but I just did the Before I Explode challenge run which you should check out if you haven't already, and I couldn't really see where I was going, spoilers, and um, maybe I, I'm just kind of conditioned to be moving slower, to be used to that, I guess. This, ran this random thing that happens when I walk into rooms could end up hurting me in the long run. I don't know. And we will check out the item room in a second, because who knows, it could be something good, or it could just be like Max's head or, you know, a bad item, similar to that. The moon, forget what that does, coin bag, that's pretty good I guess. So it seems only when we go into new rooms we get that, um, strange randomizer thing. So you know what, I'm going to pause it and see if I can maybe change something that stops that. Alright, let's see if that's fixed it. I just unchecked the um, add item when entering next room box. So we'll see if that fixes things for us. If the matchstick gives us more bombs I believe. Yes, that seems to have fixed it. Again, this is only my second time using the cheat engine, so excuse me if I don't know quite what I'm doing. Um, but I have to say, it is fun being able to do these challenge runs. I was a bit weir wary of using the cheat engine, because like, I wasn't sure if I trusted the site it was distributed on, but it seems like I don't have a virus, so... I think I'll put the link in the d description for these videos. And hopefully I'm not giving you a virus, otherwise bad things could happen to both me and you. So... If I could just pierce through rocks, that would like be awesome, but that's not the case. That was a really good chest to, to open up. I got keys and bombs. We're gonna be facing Larry Jr shouldn't be too hard. We could really use a damage upgrade, for one thing. can't remember what the moon does. I'm just gonna use it. Okay, so it gives us the secret room. We're gonna have to face, or redo the little bit of damage that we did to Larry Jr., but that's okay. So, here he is again. And yeah, so we have max rate of fire and my reflection giving us like 
making number one actually good. Well, I guess it's always good. I'm just not that good at using it. Don't hit the hate the player, hit, hate the game is what I'm told. And we're just gonna destroy Larry Jr. momentarily. And he is dead. So we get the magic 8 ball, gives us a tarot card, wheel of fortune, doesn't really interest me at all, although we are doing quite well on coins. The nail I would like, but I think that may just end my run, considering I'm not very good at um, being down to one heart container. So Curse of the Labyrinth, alright. Homing tiers would also be good, considering how fast we shoot them and how far they go. I'm having trouble getting this meat head. Maybe I'll just go for the silkworm, I guess. So yeah, this is going quite well. That guy up there is just hitting a wall, that's alright by me. And. Let's see, so two bombs for, I guess, one in the end. Definitely a good deal. And we'll move on. We have some flies that did not worry me initially, but it started to. But in the end, I had nothing to worry about. Try Ooh, uh, dime. Thank you, coin bag, or sack of pennies, or whatever you want to be called. And we're just gonna kill these wheezings. The question is, do I want to go for that chest in the middle? At the moment, it doesn't really appeal to me enough to war warrant a bomb. Maybe if some other item was dropped there, I might consider it. But that is not the case, so I'll move on. And we'll just take care of these three musketeers. And thank you, coin bag. We have the arcade. I don't know if I really care enough, to be honest. So we're just gonna kill these enemies and go in the opposite direction. We got the flat penny. I believe that just gives us more pennies, but. I don't really care enough, at the moment anyway, I'm doing alright for coins. A shop I would actually visit if I found one. I don't always visit shops, when I do I usually buy an item. So gonna kill these silkworms fairly easy, hopefully I don't take damage, that was close. And we get a bomb and a key. another three musketeers which we will take care of for better or for worse probably for better for me and for worse for them and hopefully we come across an item room or the boss room at least you know just give me something come on game some fistulas this really is kind of pointless for me I, they don't give me an item and they are not the boss, so what, what's really the point? That's what I'm asking. Points is for fun, and that coin I guess. So we're gonna head up now, and we have a variety of these turrets. And now we're down to two. Hopefully the champion one drops something good, although I would have to use a bomb to get something good if it was dropped. So maybe it's better if it doesn't drop anything. Just so that I don't have to make a decision of a bomb for whatever it drops. Just come on out and I will kill you, hopefully. And yeah, so nothing good that's good, I guess. In a twisted sense. We definitely need more upgrades, that's what we're looking for. 
And that gave us a key, which is welcome. And we kill that. And now we shall move on. We have the tower that is like Anarchist's cookbook, I believe. For now, we're just going to stick with Wheel of Fortune, because why not? And I was hoping I would kill all the flies by hitting the TNT, but unfortunately, that is not what happened. Shoop to whoop, that's horrible. I don't... I, no. Just no. So, we have Gertie. So I'm going to take care of these nubs first, and hopefully the flies won't get me in the process, which I did end up getting hit anyway, unfortunately. The tower could actually be a decent item for this room, but I've left it behind, and I got hit. I'm going to want to go back and get those hearts at some point. I don't know how I got hit there. Well, I know how, I just... I don't want to know how. It's because I'm bad. And I could actually die, so I'm going to put down a bomb there, and I actually just moved it out of the way accidentally. I'm just going to do wide circles, give him lots of space. And I got hit. Anyways, so that will be my bullet hell challenge run. Didn't last very long, but maybe that's for the best. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.